Yeah. What I want to talk to you is about is midlife crisis bollocks, right? Or whatever the fuck anybody wants to call it, whatever the fuck it is. I was married up to two years ago. I'm still married, but my divorce isn't just through, it's just waiting to come through. But anyway, on that, I left a very, very nice one and my children for someone who, at the end of the day, yes, she made me feel good and special about myself, but in the same way, never trusted me. And was never given a reason not to trust me. It was her own mistrust. Uh, the way she'd been treated before, I don't know what the fuck the problem was. But if you're ever with a pair, if you ever have a good woman, know to look after her. My ex-wife was a very, very good woman. Looked after me for all them years. And, you know, you can never be grateful. She brought me two children into the world, two beautiful children, who are excellent children. You know, my daughter's now turning 18. My beautiful big girl is 18, and she's just so amazing. She's much like her ma too, also a really nice person. My last partner, I couldn't... If I walked out of the room with my phone, apparently that was a problem. Uh, I just want to point out a few things, because I've been seeing videos posted that are directed at me. And I've just found out about this proper, and I've heard them proper now. So, I'm going to take my time on this one. Secondly, don't like being called a liar, because here's the one thing. I never, ever, ever, since I broke up with my ex-wife, ever went back to my ex-wife in a sexual way. Because I know for a fact my ex-wife would fucking kick me to death if I didn't fucking try that. But, yes, me and my ex-wife did speak it. But this ex-partner, with so much fucking hassle, just destroyed that. Destroyed my relationship with my kids because cause she thought that she had some sort of a right over to seeing my kids. She made me not want to see, not get to see my kids, basically. You know, and then, you know, if you, 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 like, if you're with someone who doesn't trust you enough to have a phone of your own without them being able to check it, not that I ever had anything ever to fear, that's a fucking funny thing, I keep hearing this stupid comment about hiding phones, hiding phones, hiding phones, I've never had a phone from anybody in my life. Oh, sorry, sorry. I did headphone one time from this certain person because this certain person was getting ordered stuff off fucking eBay, even though she'd ask for the fucking things. But uh, anyway, I just want you to know when you find a good woman, hold on to it. Because I've found another good woman. I've just been so fucking. I've been very lucky. Some I know a lot of people out there don't find people on the internet that easy. But strangely enough, me and Karn met on the internet. Neither of us actually happened to know about the fact that we both knew my ex until we met on Facebook after we first met. But, as I say, again, that previous ex sent Karn a message saying I was all this, all this, blah, 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 blah. But me and Connor and I are together in here a year. Eleven months and a couple of a few days. <laughs> and not once has Connor ever seen me or heard me lie. Not once has she ever seen me put my phone out of her way. <laughs> she gets shocked when I give her my passwords because she's like, Why are you giving me them? It's not, it's not giving you my password, it's just remember it for me, would you please? She really, just like my ex-wife, she looks after me. And thank you, Karen. Because I know what, what... I would love to have this letter that you were sent to read out, to show people just what was said. That, you know, how bad a man I am, pardon me, but 
you know, you know now yourself. You're my little dog. I'll be with you as long as you love me.